First of all, it's come to our attention that there's a mechanism to turn your caps lock key into a control that does not require administrator access on Windows, supposedly. Now, I have not tested this myself, but here's the URL, and it looks legit. On to a bit more of about copying and pasting, cutting and pasting. To begin an area of marking for either copying or pasting, you start with control space, the mark activated. Control space activates the mark. Now, whatever you do to move the point, it will drag the selection along with it, whether forward or backward. So if I go control F one character at a time, it highlights one character at a time. If we do meta F, from this point, then we're selecting one word at it. You're at the beginning of an expression that begins with a parenthesis, then control meta F will take you all the way to the end of that expression. And of course, that will be useful for editing common lisp and gendal code. Once you have a selection in place, there are two commands, each involve W. So control W cuts, meta W copies. So control W or meta W. Meta W copies. Now I can move to another location and with control Y, paste, and the mark is reset at that point. I think the mark was reset when I copied actually. Similarly to meta W, control W cuts. And likewise, I move to the point I want to be and control Y yanks it back into place. So control Y is the general yank, what you would normally call paste. And the paste command on the menu, by the way, is slightly different. I, it takes its content from a different clipboard sometimes. So you have to check both ways of pasting. But for text that's copied from within Emacs, then certainly control Y is the way to do the pasting. Now I've just either cut or copied something. I'm gonna cut or copy another sentence now. And to select that, I just went, I control space and then control E to the end of the line and then control N to go down one line and maybe control E again to the end of that line. Now meta W to copy, and now we'll go down below here and paste this text. Now what if I want the previous thing that I had just cut or copied, the most recent thing? First of all, you can do a control Y to yank or paste the most recent thing, immediately followed by meta Y. Meta Y will cycle through the previous cut or pasted things. And now we're back to where we started. Control K, control K, several kills in a row will result in a single control Y yank. It'll come back as a group. So from here we move on to searching. Now the fastest way usually to move around in an Emacs buffer is through searching. If you know that something about the text that you're looking for, as long as it doesn't appear you know, hundreds or thousands of times in the buffer, you'll be able to land on it pretty quickly just by searching. So control S initiates the forward search. And it's an incremental search, so I'll search for the word incremental right now. I-N-C-R, and it hones in on the word incremental. Now if we backspace, we're going backwards on that incremental search. So we're still not entering a backspace back into the buffer. And we're still in the search. If you look in the mini buffer, it still says I search. You can start searching for something else now. Let's say the word terminates, and here we are on terminates. Now when you're finished with the search, you just press return, and that also that moves the point at the search. A reverse search is control R. Search backward for the word command, and here we are. And then continue with control R, control R. It'll go to previous occurrences. Control S for forward search is similar. Forward search for the word incremental, and continue hitting control F until we do an overwrap. Wraps around the top and all the way back to or the first occurrence. Now just a little more on multiple windows. Move the cursor to this line and type control U zero control L. Now type control X two so that splits the screen into two windows. Both windows display the tutorial. The cursor stays in its top view. Now if I type control meta V the other window scrolls. Now control X O for other moves the cursor to the bottom window. Control V and meta V in the bottom window will scroll it directly. Control X O again moves the cursor back to the top window. Now the rest of the tutorial is very informative, so I suggest that you review this on your own. Multiple windows, multiple frames, that's what we call windows. Recursive editing levels, I've not, I've not had a problem with those, but you might you just hit escape three times. If you get into something that control G does not get you out of, escape three times. And the help system is all built into Emac. Control H will display a message about help.